to whoever's watching. Um, this is weird. It's been a while. Um, however, I thought it was time to crack the camera out because something unprecedented is happening in the world right now and I'm not quite sure how to deal with it. So I thought if I make myself film every day, then I've got to get up. I've got to brush my hair, which I have to say, there's been about four days until today that I last brushed my hair. Um, I've got to put some clothes on and function a little bit more than I have been. So I'm out of breath because I think there's a chance I might have a very, very mild version of the virus. Um, it started on Wednesday night or Thursday night. Um, I was just on the sofa and suddenly I got really, really cold, like shivering, like I was really, really cold. And then I like sort of wrapped myself up really like quite tight and suddenly my temperature just like shot up. Um, and it sort of kept going up and down, up and down. And I don't know if it's anxiety, um, because as probably most of you know who watch it, I do suffer with that. Not so much as I used to, but I do still suffer with it. So I thought maybe it's anxiety, but actually even when I'm calm, I find talking a little bit difficult. Maybe that's my really poor fitness level or maybe it is the virus, but regardless of that, I've decided to self-isolate for 14 days with my fiance Johnny and this is that. So, I also just thought I want to know what other people are doing during this time because it's a time like no other, like no one that I'm aware of has ever faced anything like this. Um, obviously, we're so, so lucky not to be in a war. Like, thank goodness we're not in a war, but this kind of feels a little bit like, I don't wanna say it feels like wartime, how on earth do I know that? It just feels like a massive shift really quickly and we're all being told to stay indoors, keep safe. People are ra like, not rationing, what's the opposite of rationing? People are gorging in the shops, it feels very stressful. Uh, going for a walk is a luxury now. I don't know, I don't know why I'm babbling. I feel like I've not spoken to anyone in a few days apart from Johnny, so. I wanted to film this to document what is going on. Um, the house is a mess, so if you don't know, <clears throat> me and Johnny moved into this house in November the 29th. We actually, last year, and we actually bought this house. Um, so we love it, we love it so, so, so much, but it's an old house, um, oldish, not really old, and lots of things need doing to the house. We've done quite a lot so far, so I say we, I mean mostly me. Um, I'm quite an impulsive person, so when I get an idea about something in my head, like decorating, I wanna do it there and then. <clears throat> and yeah, so far we've done the bathroom, which I might show you, I might not. I kind of feel weird about showing you around the house, but you know, I probably will. Um, and we've done the little bedroom, so I call it the little bedroom, it's just like our spare room, which currently Johnny is sleeping in because we're distancing ourselves even in the house, um, which is strange. I want to know how, if you're in a relationship or a family, you and how you're all getting on distancing yourselves. It's so bizarre. It just feels so unnatural not to have him by my side all the time. And we still, obviously, like, we keep joking that for every 10 minutes we spend together we're spending 30 minutes apart because I think we're best friends and we get on so well but I think we also need our space we're both people who like time to ourselves um I'm sitting on my feet and that's very uncomfortable um we both need time to ourselves so that's what's happening here as you can see in the background the house this is our bedroom it is a mess um and I, again, this is another reason why I wanted to film because it will force us to do things. I really hope that it is the virus and not something else. <laughs> um, currently, I'm in the journey, I don't know how to say it, of having quite a few tests done. Um, so basically, 
November 2018, I had a bit of a mental breakdown. And when I say a bit, I mean a lot. I did not leave the house for about four months, um, apart from to go to the doctors or the hospital. I had panic attack after panic attack. I felt really depressed, like a bit depressed is putting it mildly. I wanted to die basically. Um, and like, we're not gonna dwell on that because I feel much better now. I'm in a much better place. Um, but yeah, that mental breakdown really took a toll on my physical health. I've always been a relatively healthy person. Um, I used to run a lot, go to the gym. My job is quite active, so I've always been quite an active person. I'm so out of breath, goodness me. Um, so it took a toll on my physical health and I got all of these really weird symptoms and I'm not gonna explain the symptoms because I don't wanna trigger anyone else or give anyone else a reason to have health anxiety because that's something I also have developed recently. Um, lots of weird symptoms, so basically they thought there could be a chance I have MS, um, which is multiple sclerosis, and it's un hopefully it's unlikely that I have it, but I'm still experiencing the symptoms, so they want to do an MRI scan. Now, as I'm filming this, I was meant to be having the MRI scan today, um, after waiting a long, long time. Um, not that that's an issue, because the NHS is incredible, and I don't mind having to wait, like there are people a lot worse off than I am. Um, so yeah. So that's also worrying me. I've got that on my mind, mixed with these symptoms, mixed with the virus, mixed with everyone else's health, like my family, I've never, I would take this virus any day of the week rather than letting anyone in my family have it. I'm worried about my grandparents. I'm worried about my parents. I, I just, it's a really stressful time. And I'm noticing now I've been rambling for about eight minutes. So let's get on with the day. Um, I think Johnny's downstairs icing my birthday cake. Um, it's normally a surprise, but being as we're living in the same house, I know all about it. And actually, the fact that he's not told me what my presents are yet is unprecedented. Because normally I know exactly what I've got because he can't keep it to himself, bless him. Um, so yeah, 23rd birthday in quarantine without family or friends. However, I don't want to complain because... I just want to take a minute to say the NHS, what they are doing for people and also the government as well. I know, you know, mixed reviews, but I actually think the government are doing a really good job. They're doing their best. Um, I think they're going to look after everyone as best as they can. Um, I just hope this time passes. I don't, we don't know how long it's going to go on for. Maybe this will kickstart my YouTube career. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean... I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, first of all, tidy this bedroom. Maybe I'll film it. It's a bit personal, isn't it? But you know, this is personal, what we've got going on here, so. Okay, let's crack on with the day. It's technically quarantine day number two, but I've been in the house for about four days, so for me, it's number four. Okay, let's get on with the day. <laughs>
Do you want to say hello? Um, apparently that's all Johnny's going to do today because he doesn't really want to be in it. He, oh, I can't put that in. I can't put that in. Me. Um, apparently Johnny doesn't really want to be on camera today, so when it was his, you know, suggestion, he didn't really think it through, did he? Doesn't really want to be in it. It's not for everyone. He's having kind of... a Netflix day. He's having a Netflix day. Well, that is productive. Well, we're in it for 14 days, so much more than that. I don't think they can hear what you're saying, Johnny, and to be quite honest, I don't, I'm not sure they mind. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the rest of the house is clean-ish, just a bit messy, so maybe I can, I should get on with that. Just feels like you don't want to do everything all at once because you need to spread out everything over 14 days. Like I really want to declutter, I really want to finish painting the kitchen, which I will show you. I really want to watch loads of films, I really want to go, go in the garden. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. I really hope you're not bored watching this, because I think I would be bored watching this. I don't know. I think I've forgotten how to speak to people. Maybe if you're watching this, you could leave me some suggestions of what you'd like to see. Would you like to see lots of cleaning, or is that a bit boring? Would you like to see decluttering? Would you like to see me do some yoga or some meditation? Would you like me to interview Johnny or something or we could do something couple related I don't know just leave it down below that's fine maybe I'll only make one of it one of these because actually so far I'm finding it a little bit stressful and I've only filmed four shots I would actually like four shots <laughs> I've lost it right I'm going actually on a jug let me turn you around a jug how cute is that? It was from Home Bargains, if anyone wonders. Yep. It's going to be a while before I go back there. Having fun? Mm-hmm. So this is our spare room. Slash office now. Slash office, because jono has got to work from home. Um, TV on the wall, all the important things. Excuse the blind. That's not my choice. Planning on... Uh, Moving today? No. Probably get up about five so it's fresh to get back in later in the day. Yeah, make the bed at five. Get back in half five, six. <laughs> after you've made me my dinner. And schedule squidge. Like the princess that I am. You, you know I'll cook. You can clean. Okay. Well, this is very interesting yeah. vlog content. Are you sure you want to be seen on the internet like this? Anyone who knows me well enough knows this is what my life is like anyway. So. Yeah. How are you finding uh, being separated from me? Not really. If anything, we're closer than ever because we're stuck in the house for 14 days. Was, is there anyone else you'd want, want to be stuck with, really? Do you really want me to answer that? Okay, bye! <laughs> bathroom sneak peek. Ooh. I love our bathroom. I painted it myself, grey, dark grey. It's not really coming on on camera, it's kind of black, but it's beautiful. Okay. This is a print in our house, on our stairway. I love it. So this is our kitchen. That's the colour it was, and we're painting it all white. We're hopefully gonna change the floor at some point to a light grey once I'm back at work because um, we can't afford that right now <laughs> and we've got some nice French doors to our garden that's our utility on the left and our pantry on the right I've got paint all over the door so much to Johnny's dismay and then that's the door to our living room so yeah I need to put, this is three coats, would you believe it? I don't know if I'm a really bad painter or if it's bad paint. It was expensive, it wasn't cheap paint. But you can kind of see all the brush marks. Oh, it looks even worse on camera. Well, maybe not. 
That's my, that is so funny. <laughs> Johnny's making me a whale. <laughs> it's been put to rest. I can't, I can't cope. This is my cleaning the sink segment. <laughs> so let's move all the paint brushes out of the way. That's, oh, just got some on the side. I'll worry about that later. So my cleaning the sink liquid of choice is Sif. I normally prefer the lemon one, but we don't have any of that left. So I just, I mean, usually I do it really gracefully in like a heart shape, but that is the situation we're in. It's out, great, love that for us. So then I take my dishmatic that I don't actually use for dishes. I just use to clean the sink. So scrub all that down so it's all nice and clean. I do this every day so it's really not dirty anyway. Um, got a little bit of paint on there. Let's just uh, smoosh that off before Johnny sees it. And in the sink. Maybe I'll just speed this up a bit. Okay, so this is a situation. Everything is all nice and clean, apart from this. So this is a George Foreman that Johnny has used and uh, not put it away. A mixing bowl that Johnny has used and not put away. Some dental wipes that Johnny has used and not put away, alas. And some cake off cuts, a peg some bread, some grapes, some apples, because bless my mum and dad's heart, they brought me around lots of supplies and dropped it at the door. So this all needs to find a home. And also I could probably do with tidying those, uh, ignore the white patches. And um, yeah. So let's crack on. <laughs> Kitchen chats. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not really sure what to do during these vlogs. This is kind of like an introductory come with me as I clean the house day. Um, but I think what's probably best going forward is like a specific video with a specific theme. So like, <laughs> my cupboard door is like this. Love that for us. When did that happen? I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Um, yeah, should I do like a specific video like declutter my house with me, clean my house with me, meditate with me, or would you like to see daily vlogs where it's like, this is what we're doing today, do it with us, it's up to you, I don't know. I'm not sure. Please let me know in the comments because otherwise I just won't know what to do. So yeah, anyway, I, my kitchen's tidy. Let me show you. Ooh. Yay. Um, 
still haven't done up there but again probably gonna leave that for another day I won't lie to you I'm just not feeling it but at least the kitchen's all clean and tidy <laughs> Should probably say um i opened one of my uh, birthday presents early from johnny's sister and her lovely family and this is one of the presents it's a mug and i love it i think it's great sorry for opening